what is the force that drove you to go from in front of the camera to behind the camera? Um, I mean, I think it was the impulse that uh, I initially had years and years ago, but just magnified, which is, you know, I need a job. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I feel like a lot of the actresses I know that are self-generating, mm -hmm. you know, that, that, that write or uh, post videos or all the myriad ways you can create material now, I feel like most of them have done it out of necessity mm -hmm. rather than, oh, I really want to write a one-woman show. Yeah. You know, they just, um, I think, I, I've never been interested in being an actress that just sort of sits around and waits for the phone to ring. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think out of necessity, a long time ago, I started, you know, just getting into sketch comedy, writing little sketches that morphed into one act plays, mm -hmm. then trying to write films or TV pilots. And, and um, I, I feel like now uh, myself and a lot of my friends are reaching this point where we're sort of tired of saying like, oh, they, the people that are making movies and TV shows, they must have something, they must have figured out something that we haven't, and, you know, maybe someday... They know the answer that I yeah. don't know, yeah. And meanwhile, the, the stuff that my friends generate, um, some of them very successful, some of them not, mm -hmm. uh, by and large makes me laugh... Way or, harder. Way harder, yeah. or, or think more deeply, or be moved mm -hmm. in, in a you know, better way, and I... So I think it's just, it's reaching a stage in my life where it's like... It's time to just sort of, um, you know, believe in yourself and say, like, I, I know what I'm doing, actually. Yeah. Like, I was, I was at an audition um, with a very talented Lauren Wheatman. Shout out to Lauren mm -hmm. Wheatman. Um, who was, I think, she was recently, it was an audition for Hung, I remember. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were sitting there, and she, you know, uh, she's great. And um, she's a great person to sort of commiserate with before you go in the room. And she was saying, like, if she was nervous or something. And, and I, I remember saying, like, you know what? We've been doing this a while, Lauren. Like we've yeah. been sitting in these chairs outside yeah. of so many doors. Oh man! You know, second guessing ourselves. Yeah, we're, like, we're pretty good enough. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. and so I remember she later told me because she got the job, and I was like, oh, never giving advice again. But she was like, you know what? That really um, hit home to me because I actually walked in the room going like, no, mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing. If I was a plumber, I wouldn't like go into every home going like, oh, I hope I change the pipe. Yeah. Better than the other guy. You know, yeah. it's like. Kind of just, I'm going to show up and do my job. Yeah. And so I'm really getting to that stage of of uh, wanting to be um, what my uh, my old uh, friend Sylvia, old little old Jewish lady, used to say, a macher. Mm -hmm. You know, a mover and a shaker. And, yeah. Uh, so my friends are um, sort of teasing me and calling me like a Daryl of you know. <laughs> so do you feel like it's taken you a long time to find your confidence? Or do you feel like you're always a person who's been confident, you're just now starting to realize that you can put your efforts into bigger things for yourself? Um, it's taken me a long time mm -hmm. to find my confidence. <laughs> and do you think that's part of just being in the comedy world? Or do you think that, you know, because comedy really is still, I think to this day, a, a man's world. I mean, it's getting much better. And I feel like women like yourself are really helping to open up doors and to let women see themselves in a different kind of role in comedy. Um, does that ever affect you though, you know, being in that kind of male dominated world? Are you not, is that not where that's coming from? It's just you as an actor are building up your... I mean, I think it, um, it doesn't necessarily affect me as far as, um, like I still am going to, because I'm self-generating, mm -hmm. you know, writing stuff that I want to perform or that I find funny, um, it's, it's great. I mean, that's a nice antidote to like, yeah. oh, it's a man's world or whatever, yeah. because, well, essentially that's just stopping me from lifting yeah. my hand to paper and you know, right. they can't come in here at gunpoint and tell me to stop. Right. Um, so I can, I can feel free to write the kind of stuff that, um, I want to write. I think it does limit me and another female comics as far as what we can be cast in, because mm -hmm. I think, um, as you and I were just talking about off camera, you know, um, the idea of what a female comic actress is, mm -hmm. is like a woman who kind of looks pretty and bumps into stuff, <laughs> yeah. you know, and that to me is not comedy. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah, physical comedy, that, that's a certain part of it. But, um, so I think, you know, it's not enough to have funny female performers. Mm -hmm. And um, if you want, you know, better female comedic roles mm -hmm. where we get to be, the one that's an asshole. Like yeah. I feel like 
that to me will be the pinnacle of what I want to see for women yeah. in film and television, where we get to have a woman uh, be as much of an asshole as Larry David is, which, yeah. like for example, Susie Essman does now in yeah. that supporting role. Right. Um, Roseanne did in a way. Mm -hmm. You know, she broke mm -hmm. a certain barrier where, like, she could be kind of gross or like, yeah, crass yeah, or, yeah. You know, it was a big deal. Yeah. Um, so I want to I want to have the the freedom to be really flawed, mm -hmm. which is comedy, right? Um, and and to you know and not to stand there and and sort of oh honey, you know um, I, I can't tell you how many times it's like and I'm so lucky to even get the opportunity to audition for these pilots or something, but I'll read the script and and I'll be like, this is this is the, these are the choices. Yeah, right, right. Like anybody could do that. Yeah. My mom could do that. <laughs> yeah. She could put on some makeup and look right. really nice. And, right. And, oh. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, fat, old, ugly man yeah. that I'm mysteriously married to, even though I'm 20 <laughs> and a size yeah, zero. Totally. So is that what's exciting you about comedy right now? The idea of, like, the ugly exploring the, the mean, the... Yeah, and that's yeah. not to say that a, a female comic can't be gorgeous. I oh, actually yeah. just saw it, and it really encouraged me. Um, because there's this whole argument that, like, uh, you know pretty women can't be funny, or, you know, funny women can't be pretty, or, you know, whatever. Um, and I do think there's a certain argument to that, because I think you develop your comedic instincts. Right. Because maybe you don't have other things to yeah. rely on to manipulate. Yeah, absolutely. And get what you want. It's your defense, for right. sure, yeah. Um, and, or so you don't get beat up on the playground mm -hmm. or teased, you know, so you learn to make them laugh, because you're not strong or popular or whatever. Yeah. Um, do you, were you considered, like, a weird kid? I mean... Not was weird, thing? but I was I was not like I was not a popular kid. Mm -hmm. um, I was the kid who had like a best friend who was like the the class brain, a best friend who was like a jock, a best friend who was a, you know. And so if they were ever in the same room together, I had like a panic attack because <laughs> I didn't know who I was because yeah, I was like yeah. a different person with every one of them. And that started to change a little bit. I'm a little more consistent. Um, but I mean, it really explains where playing the role comes from. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. Um, and, but yeah, the other night I saw, uh, just randomly on TV, just some woman who was like gorgeous and she was on some stand up, you know, mm -hmm. show and, and I was, she was really funny and I was like, that's great. And she yeah. was wearing like a, a really pretty, I wish I could remember her name, but she was wearing like a really pretty pink dress. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's awesome. Yeah. That is you awesome. Know, the, we don't have to, you know, even like dress like a guy or whatever yeah. anymore. And, um, it sounds insane to say that in 2010. But I think it really is still um, at play, and uh, and I think with all of the you know social networking and YouTube and Funny or Die or all these different ways you can get yourself out there mm -hmm. um, without having to be in like a big budget movie. It's yeah, like, you might not make a million dollars, but I think there are a lot more inroads now for women who are just sort of innately funny. Yeah, know? yeah. Um,